In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. God's Promise to Parents That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace. Psalm 144 verse 12 We have been taken as rough stones out of the query of the world by the cleaver of truth and placed in the workshop of God. He who has genuine faith in Christ as his personal Savior will find that the truth accomplishes a definite work for him. His faith is working faith, and faith works by love and purifies the soul. The Lord Jesus has paid the ransom money for us. He has given his own life in order that those who believe on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Those who receive the truth by faith will bear testimony to the quality of the faith they exercise. They will continually make improvements, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. We cannot create our faith, but we can be co laborers with Christ in promoting the growth and triumph of faith. The work of Christ in the heart does not destroy man's powers. Christ directs, strengthens, ennobles, and sanctifies the faculties of the soul. It is through personal acquaintance with him that we become qualified to represent his character to the world. John says, As many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. John 1 verse 12. And again, of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. Christ is to be represented in the home circle. Fathers and mothers bear weighty responsibility, for they will be held accountable for giving correct lessons to their children. They are to speak kindly to them, to be patient with them, to watch unto prayer, praying the Lord to mold and fashion the hearts of the children. But while asking God to mold and fashion the characters of the children, let mothers and fathers act their part, presenting to their offspring a living representation of the divine pattern. God will not accept haphazard work at your hands. Your children are God's heritage, and heavenly angels are watching to see that both parents and children are co with God in building up character after the divine model.